Okay, let's look at market structure today. Don't pray that we help us, give us understanding, and take it away in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Looking at market structure, normally if you are asked what is market, the first thing you will say is a market is a place where buying and selling is It's not necessarily a place. When you are ordering something from Junior, do you meet Junior? Do you go to a place to meet? Now you do a lot of things online. You can buy a chat card with your phone, you can, and like that. So it's not really a place. It's a place, but say it's a place, not enough. It's not. It's just an arrangement. You got ah, eh, ah, I, I saw this so so car, uh, brand of car on Gigi. I like it. So okay, where do we meet? Uh, meet me at Anthony. You make arrangement to meet and transact. So it's actually an arrangement, not a place. So it's an arrangement, with, or it's a place or arrangement where buyers and sellers meet to transact, to transact business. That's market, and that's what we look at now. We want to look at the different kinds of market. We have the money market, the commodity market. The ones you know, you go, you buy food store, you buy this. That's commodity market. Market. We have the foreign exchange market where you buy foreign currency, you buy dollar, you take, you call them bread exchange. You heard of that one? You call them bread exchange. Then we have capital market where loans can be uh, granted. We talk of stocks and sh shares and bonds. So there are different, different types of uh, market. So let's look at market now. Market. Market is defined as any arrangement, system, or organization. Any arrangement, system, or organization. Contact for the purpose of transacting business. It is defined as an any arrangement or system or organization whereby buyers and sellers. Transacting business, transacting business. It is not necessarily a place. It is not necessarily a place.
One, commodity, commodity market, commodity, or consumer goods market, consumer goods market. Two, labor market. Three, money market. Four, capital market. Five, foreign exchange market. So we have commodity markets or consumer goods markets, we have labor markets, we have money markets, capital markets, foreign exchange market. And Stock exchange markets. Stock exchange markets. Stock exchange markets. Now let's take the first one. Commodity markets. Commodity or consumer goods markets. Now look up. I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. So that you get to know the underlying principle for defining each of them. What you need to know is who are the two people coming together and what are they coming together to transact. Now look at it. Commodity market. Where it's a market where buyers of consumer goods and sellers of consumer goods meet the transact. It's not like labor market. Labor means workforce, people that are working. People that are working. Now labor market is a market where by employer of labor and giver of labor meet for the purpose of getting what labor. That's where you employ people. They talk of over the capital money market capital market, foreign exchange market, and so what you just need to do is look at what are these two set of people coming together to buy or sell. That's one. In this case, they are coming together to buy consumer goods. In capital market, they are coming to buy what? Loan. Big loan. In one market, they are coming to get small loans and all that. And you go to your set, uh, commercial bank now, you tell them you want a hundred thousand in a money market. When you want a bigger loan that you want to use to make huge, uh, say, school, road, then stock exchange market where, you, where they buy shares, then foreign exchange market where they buy foreign currency like dollars and pounds. So these are the things you need to know. You need to know what are they coming together to transact and who are those people. First, the, the people are buyers and sellers. Of A, consumer goods, buyers and sellers of labor, buyers and sellers of short term loan, buyers and sellers of long term loan, buyers and sellers of foreign currency, buyers and sellers of stocks. Do you see that? Do you see how simple it is? Oh, no. It's a market where buyers and sellers of what? Consumer goods. It's the market where buy, buyers and sellers of what? Labor. It's the market where, where buy. Buyers and sellers of short term loan meet to transact business. It's a market where buy buyers and sellers of long term loan capital. It's a market where buy buyers and sellers of foreign currency meet to transact business. And it's a market where buy buyers and sellers of shares meet to transact. So let's go. Commodity markets. It is a market where the buyers and sellers of consumer goods meet to transact business.
Consumer goods may be manufactured goods or agricultural goods. Consumer goods may be manufactured goods or agricultural goods. They are meant for consumption. They are meant for consumption by the consumers. They are meant for consumption by the consumer. E.g., foodstuff, clothes, beer, pen, etc. So we are, you see what commodity market, commodity market is or consumer goods market. We are buyers and sellers of commodity goods or consumer goods meat. The next one is labor market. It is a market where workers or labor and employers of labor. Meet to transact business. Simply put, simply put, it's a market where employees. And employers of labor meet to transact business. It deals with the recruitment of labor of all categories. It deals with the recruitment by employing. Recruitment is employing. It deals with the recruitment of labor of all categories. Skilled, unskilled, semi-skilled labor skills. Let's look at money markets. It includes the financial house. It includes the financial house.
what we call borrowers, borrowers and lenders of short term loan. So, what is money market? Money market is a market where the borrowers and lenders of short term loans meet to transact business. Where the borrowers and lenders of short term loans meet to transact business. So, let's see capital market. Of course, now you now know all this capital market is lender and borrower long term loan. Capital market. Capital market. This is a market. Where the borrowers and lenders of long term loans meet to transact. Transact business. Borrowers and lenders of long term loans need to transact business. The capital market, the capital market provides medium to long term loans. Medium to long term loans. When we use long term, short term, it's time, time. It means there are some loans you collect, they say, okay, you can pay in 30 years' time, in 50 years' time. That's long term loan. Most times, loans that government collect to build um, infrastructures are long term loan. So that's cap where they go to is capital market. But in case where you just want to, Get one million naira, five hundred thousand, put into your business, and they tell you that you will pay. In, you, you start paying in the next two, three months. That's short term loan. Short term loan. So whenever you are talk of short term loan, you are talking about money market. Of course, it is you and I, ordinary individuals, private people, that can get into money market. It is the companies and uh, governments. Government that can go to capital market long term loan. Money market is for individuals like us. Capital market is for big companies and government firms. Government, uh, government. So that's capital market. Examples of capital market include insurance companies, insurance companies. Issuing houses, issuing houses, development bank, banks, development banks, investment banks, investment trusts, development. Investments, trusts, investments, funds. The stock exchange, finance corporations. Stock exchange, finance corporations, mortgage banks, mortgage banks. ETC. That's capital market. So we are we are done with four now. So we are left with two. Stock exchange market and foreign exchange market. And you know what? This app. But I told you, point exchange market. So let's talk about 
foreign exchange market. Foreign exchange market. This is a market where the buyers and sellers of foreign currencies meet. Examples, an example is the Buruj exchange. Stock exchange market. This is the market where the buyers and sellers of second hand securities meet. Buyers and sellers of second hand securities meet. Buyers and sellers of second hand security meet. Second hand securities include old stock and shares. That's what we mean by second hand security. Old stock, stocks and shares. Now, look at me. Before we say this is a type, this are types of market. Pay attention. Market is divided into types based on three factors. One, based on what is being transacted, what is being bought and sold. Two, based on the channel of distribution. So, if I say market now based on channel of distribution, we talk about producer, wholesaler, and retailer. But this one we've done is based on the common type of commodity. So, let's go. Note. Market is now what we call monopoly. Monopoly. 
duopoli, duopoli, oligopoli, monopoli, oligopoli, duopoli. And the last one, based on channel of distribution. Based on channel of distribution. Based on channel of distribution. So it's all on one basis we will we'll be doing.